All right, get ready to see some amazing feats this weekend at the Shriner Circus. Come one, come all. The shows <laughs> will be at the State Fair grounds all weekend long. News 9's Jordan Daphnis joins us live from under the big top with a preview of the show. We're excited about this, Jordan. Oh, I am too, you guys. I haven't been at such a classic event in a very long time, you guys. This is the Royal Hannaford Circus. This has been around for generations and generations, yes. not even just decades. And I'm joined by Timothy Teggy. He is the Hi. ringmaster today. And can you just kind of tell people what they're going to expect when they come out here? This is the last traditional three ring circus touring America today. We have all the things you could imagine and some of the things you couldn't imagine that make <laughs> up a perfect circus. We have tigers, we have uh, performing dogs, we have trapeze performers, high wire artists, uh, also, everything you can imagine. I, it's just, uh, there's something for everyone here. Literally something for everyone. Here. Entertainment everywhere. And we were talking yeah. about kind of the pandemic and how that's impacted things. You said it's kind of been the best thing. You know, if, if anything good came out of the pandemic, it has uh, uh, prompted people to get out and do things. And you'd be surprised how many people have never been to the circus before. And now, because there's a green light to go out and do things and start living again, uh, people are discovering circus for the first time. And there's no better way to discover circus than with the traditional thing, and this is it. You know, we, we, the Royal Hannaford Circus dates back to 1690. In theory, it's older than Ringling Brothers. Amazing. Yeah. And you guys, what you're seeing right now, we've got a gymnast and an aerialist here giving you a little bit of a preview. I mean, look at that talent. I could never. That's could Eric never. Aguila, and uh, he's a, a, a balancer, uh, about a sixth generation Wow. Circus balancer working atop. He'll build a tower of uh, chairs that extends probably about uh, 20 feet in the air. <gasps> and behind him, a young lady way up there in way the moon. Up there. That's uh, Mona Loyal. And oh she gosh. too is about a sixth generation circus girl. And uh, we're all one big happy family. Yeah, it's so beautiful to see this talent once again back in person, Absolutely. like you were saying. You know, how can people get tickets if they want to come out here and see the show? Tickets are on sale at the uh, Coliseum box office. Good seats are available as late as showtime. We have a show this evening at 7.30 p.m. Three shows tomorrow on Saturday at 10 a.m., 2 p.m., and again at 7.30 p.m. And on Sunday, two shows at 2 o'clock and 7. Amazing. Okay, let's take a look. So he's got one, two, three, four. This is going to be the fifth chair that he's setting up there. Woo! So exciting. And you'll, you'll see, I, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you'll see the, a little bit of motion in those chairs you know oh. these this is all just takes years and years of, of scientific oh practice to figure out how to distribute your body weight so that those chairs just don't fall out from under you oh of course how many feet up would you say he is right now he's probably about 15 feet in oh, the air oh my goodness Wow. And you guys uh, also remember that this is, of course, going to a good cause when you come out here. You're going to be supporting Absolutely. the Shriners. Yeah, and the so India Shriners are our sponsor. We perform for Shrine organizations all over the United States. And uh, it, it's, a, it's a wonderful experience. It's a wonderful family show. Literally, there is something for all ages something here. Something for all ages, and, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Timothy, and thank and you, pleasure. you guys. We're going to send it back to you guys in the newsroom. Definitely something you'll want to come out and see. Oh. Oklahoma's yeah. own Jordan Daphnis. Jordan, wow. thank you. We, we were, were on the edge of our seat, like what amazed oh, at the oh, strength yeah. and that balance. Yes. That guys, head first up 15 feet. And not just a normal handstand. It, to have it shifted like that yeah. and to stay straight up, oh my gosh. We were like, Colby, was that you? It was hard to tell. Yeah, right. I can't even put my shoe on without falling over. I don't <laughs> have that kind of balance. Amazing. And he pointed out it, it's giving a little bit as yeah. he's, so it's a yeah. real balancing act. My question is, I wonder, I mean, you have to practice this obviously and you have to start somewhere, which yes. means he's probably taken a fall or two. You know, that, it's that interesting. Just, I, uh, both of those are sixth, sixth generation
performers. Yeah. So they grew up. They yeah. probably started doing stuff mm -hmm. like that at two, three years old. I mean, on Literally. a very small scale, if amazing. you think about it. Uh, traveling with the circus <sighs> since childhood. That's amazing. Wow. Check Pretty it cool. out this weekend. That's such a great event to go to.